President Biden's refusal to enforce the border, his his decision to just defy federal immigration laws and allow two million people to come here unimpeded in, in direct contravention of his obligation under Article two of the Constitution to take care that the laws be faithfully executed. That's probably the strongest grounds right now for impeachment, but there may be others. Does the White House have a reaction to Senator Cruz saying um, President Biden may be impeached if the Republicans take back the House next year, specifically for the border policies? Well, uh, our reaction is maybe Senator Cruz can work with us on uh, getting something done on comprehensive immigration reform and putting in place measures that will help uh, make sure smart security uh, is what we see at the border, uh, taking a more humane approach to the border instead of uh, name calling, accusation calling, and making predictions of the future. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And if I am to understand what Cancun Cruz is saying, if the Republicans resume power in 2022, they will move to impeach President Biden. Okay, let's just say that statement for a minute. Did Cancun Cruz point to anything specific that President Biden did that would warrant an impeachment? I think he skipped that part. He just said the border. What does that even mean? What exactly did President Biden do at the border that would warrant an impeachment? You fo- you see, folks, they, they don't care about anything besides revenge for their orange savior. They also give us the playbook of what they plan to do if they take back the House and the Senate. Impeachment, derailment, and doing everything in their power to make President Biden a lame duck president. That's unacceptable. Now, I love how Jen Psaki responds and calls out lying Ted for doing absolutely nothing to protect the border, except when he crossed it to go to Cancun while his state was freezing to death and the power grid was not working. Yeah, I'm going to keep bringing that up until the day one of us dies. He will forever be known as Cancun Cruz in my book and lots of others, I'm sure. Now, Jen Psaki has too much class, but if the reporter asked me that question about what Ted Cruz has been rambling off about lately, this would have been my response. Ted Cruz, you're scum. You lack integrity. You lack charisma. You lack all the traits that people look for in a leader, and that is why you were despised everywhere you go. Former Senator Al Franken once said, look, I am one of the few senators that like Ted Cruz the most out of all of my colleagues, and I absolutely despise the man. Your colleagues don't respect you. The people of Texas don't trust you, and that is why you are destined for a career at Rupert Murdoch Propaganda Network, because that's all you will ever be, a talking tool for the alt-deranged far right. Folks, listen up and listen up carefully. If the Republicans take over power in the upcoming midterms, you can kiss all the progress that we have made thus far goodbye. I know we have a long way to go and many things we still want to pass. But if we don't get our act together and start rallying behind the candidates that are there right now doing the work to take on the GQP, I promise you we will not like what they have in store for us. So let's get to work. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.